Alright guys, so pretty much for this one I had to use my voice and the reason for this or provide some commentary and the reason for this is because you guys all know me if you see my previous videos. The only reason I put commentary is to explain something especially if it's a, either complicated or quite tricky. So anyways, I'm just going to show you where this car is located. It's located in Uptown Oakland. And as you guys can see, this is Oakland over here. And what you guys want to do is you want to fast travel to Axel Board Shop. And then you just cross the street and you go through the alleyways right here in between the containers. Until you get to the spot where I am. Now this is going to be really tricky because you have to use a crane. And trust me, using the crane meanwhile balancing the container. And, the, and having to deal with the physics of the container is just a big ass pain in the ass. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna pretty much need to stack up at least two cars. And sorry if you guys hear my rooster in the background, he won't shut the fuck up. Now the reason that you guys wanna stack two big cars, at least like the size of these two cars that I'm using, a van or a truck, is simply due to the fact that the car that we're gonna be collecting is pretty much gonna be up there and I'll show you guys by getting into this camera so see you pretty much just have to right now it's it should pop up like in a few seconds or in a few minutes and the other thing that we're gonna do is go into research um, vehicle hacking which is the top one and you at least want to have this one unlocked because the reason is you can't really get inside the container that the car is within because the car is pretty much using up all the space and the your character can't really go inside of it there is a bug but it's very very rare that you guys will get it but here let me just make sure Well, hopefully the car loads in by the time that I make it up there. So what you guys want to do is you want to go around here. Once you get to these green containers, simply jump up and then keep going towards the left. Once you see this blue container, just jump on it. Wow, you guys know. Just follow in my footsteps. Now this is the most, probably the most difficult part because you are eventually going to have to tilt the container and you'll see why you want to make sure you stand in the center of it because the weight your weight supposedly balances off the container and it could knock you down and also you want to see it's already acting retarded oh my God. this is actually make sure you go slowly there's no need for you to impress anyone see this is eventually the way that you want to tilt the container but not right now hopefully retro that's what i think well i think that's his name this is how you guys basically just want to move the container for now all right so, so far so good Okay, so you want to put it towards, see? Oh my god. Okay then. See, you guys know what I'm talking about. Also make sure you don't move it too quickly because the crane could break and whatnot. So. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back in the crane again. Nope, see, I don't know why it's doing that. Why is it lifting up? That doesn't make any sense. See, click, click. I don't know why it's doing that. 
No, come on, get in. Come on. Okay. See, and for some retarded reason, he can't simply jump in. Oh my god. See, I'm telling you. This is actually quite a pain. Okay, you could exit out now. See, the controls don't even want to respond either. So. Okay, now that we're in, we're gonna lift the crate up above the red ones. I don't know if you guys can clearly see it because I know I can't. And then you're gonna move the container a little bit upwards. And we're gonna quickly exit before the physics of this retarded container start to kick in. Then you're gonna jump on top of this blue container. It shouldn't really take you guys that long, but yeah. Okay, see? Now that it's right here, we're gonna highlight it. We're gonna open up our hacking utilities. Make sure you're not standing in front of it. That's an obvious thing. And then we're gonna press triangle. Don't get it confused by pressing the X button. I'm on PS4, so I don't know how that's different on PC or Xbox One. But we're gonna go ahead and press the above button that corresponds. And the reason we put the vehicles up there is so see because the car is automatically going and that's pretty much going to stop it that's going to stop it from going too far and you guys don't want to run off all the way towards the end of this corridor road right here in between the containers and the gas tanks and there that's about it this is how you get the let me see what the name of the vehicle is. i already forgot what it's called Okay, this is how you get the wrecker vehicle. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.